and we're back and all I did, literally all I did, was heal up so don't freak out that I'm in a different place there's no point in jumping down that blooming ledge again is there that's lucky JP, it's so intriguing is that, um, is that another way of saying that I look like a rapist madam? is it? I don't know, I look like a nerd though don't I? I don't think her thing is like quick attack, then again it might have. <laughs> so, it might also be wanting to, uh, you know, get a critical hit. Oh, and by the way, I bought two potions, as if you're counting, as if you care. You know, like Pokemon, then, you know, you're watching this for fun. The dog's here, aren't you, Jasper? The lady having a sleep with me. There's a little spring spaniel, and we've only had your what? Couple of months, three months. Oh, water gun! I like that. And this is neither a male, you know. In case you notice, the mine had a little female sign next to it. This is neither a male. Neither a male evolves into Nidorino, and mine evolves into Nidorat. And then it's Nido King and Nido Queen. And they're the same type, but there are some move differences and some stat differences and stuff like that. I think. But, for example, that had horn attack, and mine had not learned that, mine doesn't have a horn! So mine learns scratch instead, and I think they both learn poison sting. Or I think only mine learns poison sting. I don't know, but, yeah, there were some differences. Could have gone with the male, because I know it more, but I um, feel like going with the female. The one I had it last time I played this game, which was about five years ago, so not five, probably about three or, or four. But you know, I also just felt like having it. You know, I don't know it as well. Plus I think it ends up with more HP, I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm not going to allow it to need a queen at any, any time soon though. Yeah, we'll kill this metapod. <laughs> as if we weren't, we have a choice. And since the metapod is not going to kill me, then, um, you know, I have a choice. I have to kill it. Sorry, veggies, vegetarians, vegans. I have to kill this crystallized insect, you know, for its yummy, yummy experienced meat. And there we go, it's dead. Now a quick look in some grass, to be honest. I think we can find a jigglypuff or some crap. Plus I kind of want to train up. Eek, did you touch me? No I didn't, but I did come at you sideways. Sideways hug. I haven't started my timer again. Seriously guys, what the fuck is wrong with me? Well I'll say I've been, <laughs> god damn it. I'll say I've been doing it for three minutes. Or so. We'll go, we'll go with two and a half minutes. Oh Jesus. I never used the timer before so, you know, I'm kind of trying to get used to it. Poison sting isn't taking off a lot. Ah, oh, disable. Disable's annoying as well, because what disable does is it will like make the move. Like say I'm using poison sting right now. It will disable me from using poison sting. You can only use it on one of the moves though, so. Say someone uses a move that kicks your ass and every other move they have is alright, then uh, you can use disable and they won't be able to use the last move they used. But you know, usually I'll have something else to just uh, just fall back on, so that'll be fine. We'll be all right. Oh, by the way, when they reach a certain level, they evolve like this. There we go. It evolved. Now it's that. It's a Nidara. There we go. So I have a Nidara now, and it looks different from the back as well, which I'll show you in a minute actually. So I have a look in this grass for a chop or something. Some crap like that. I'll only have about about a few looks, so I just want to show you this uh, this Nidoran, or Nidara rather. First, I'm going to train up the Squirtle slightly more before I start using it. Come on, random battle, please. Thank you. I actually, did it when I asked. So, no, nah, it's just a Pidgey here. Oh, well, there you go. It looks different from the back, and I think it takes off a lot more damage than it did. Yeah, there you go. No. Well, whatever. It'll be stronger than the Nidoran I had, but it'll learn moves later on. 
like at later levels, like say my mid around female was going to learn bite at level 20. Well, this will learn bite at like level 24 or something, but it'll have stronger stats. So it balances out, I guess. I don't know, I prefer to have the stats to be honest, like the defense and the HP and stuff, and have another move that may or may not be useful. You, can, you only have four, so it works out to just uh, just not be worth it, really. Now, all we're getting is Pidgey. So, you know what I'm going to do? I can't remember. You can call me a cheat or whatever, but I'm going to hit game facts just to see what the hell is in this grass, because... I'm used to playing the remake, where there are new and different things in this grass. I mean, there actually are, but yeah. We're not even done with this part yet, so... We'll, uh, we'll head inside Mount Moon, is what we'll do. And uh, we'll grab a few items in there. I'm not going to slog through it yet. Because what I want to do is I want to do that in between parts. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to grab some stuff at the left hand side of the entrance. A cave. Yeah, we're going to grab a few items in here. And uh, I'll, I'll show the whole, I'll show the whole of this, so don't worry about that. Zubat, which is poison and flying. Yeah, I wanna I wanna level this up one more level so that this evolves. They don't all evolve at level 16 by the way. It just so happens that the two I decided to pick do evolve at level uh, level 16. And then uh, the other one evolves via a moonstone, so I could have like the final form now, but it wouldn't learn any moves. Some of them are like that that evolve through stones, like because you can evolve them at any point. I guess they decided to balance it by not having to learn any new moves, so, you know, I'd have these starting shitty moves. Well, they're not shitty for now, but for, like, the end game, they're pretty shitty. So having file one in Final Fantasy VII on the last boss, it's like, it's not very really good, to be honest. And you don't need it. But yeah, ooh, another, another fight. Zoo that, so. Yeah, we'll train this squirt a lot. I think Zubats can use Super Sonic or Confuse Ray, which both confuse you. Maybe that's later, but they do do it and it is annoying. God. Coming up to five minutes. So I reckon what we'll do is we'll uh, kick this guy's ass since he's here. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, do I look like a, suspic uh, a suspicious man? And if I did, would you really mention suspicious to me? I probably wouldn't, but, you know, maybe that's just me. Going up to six minutes, but I don't think I spent five minutes on the bit that I didn't record. You'll know, because there's like a timer on YouTube, but, you know, if you understand, I'm kind of just sat here. Level 16, okay. Kakuna, no, I will not change. I will kick its funny ass, and we'll watch it evolve, and we'll stop the recording. Then, so, uh... I forget which part this is, but it doesn't really matter, because I can see it. Actually, it's behind this, uh, this emulator screen. So this is part six, I believe, it's about to end. So we'll watch it evolve. Squabble. Yay! There we go. Wonderful stuff.